Right, should we get started? Yeah! Are we doing an intro? Maybe. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm not. Queen. Welcome back guys. This time <laughs> we're going to be doing the uh, drag queen tag and I got the questions off my phone. So if I look at my phone, don't judge me, oh, I'm looking down at myself. So you guys have been asking a lot of questions like, who are you? How many viewers have you got? How many subscribers have you got? Like 5,000. Oh, just getting that money. <laughs> I don't think that's that many. <laughs> no, it's not. Let's get started. What's your drag name and how did you found it? Let's have a great start. <laughs> My drag name is Ava Cassandra. Ava, short for Aveline. Aveline as in have a line, as in sniff, as in coke. Is it really? Mm -hmm. That was my mum's <gasps> nickname when she was my age. And I was like, that's cool. And so I shortened it to Ava, because Ava's a really pretty name. And I like three letter names and the name A, and the letter A, and the letter V. So Ava. Cassandra was going to be my name when I was born. And then I was born with a scrotum. And they called me John. And I was like, nope. They assumed you didn't <laughs> no, I'm genuinely serious. I'm, I'm being like it's a gender neutral name. Yeah, that's cool. I do that. Because then I'm not going to raise them like, oh, Barbie's for boys. Mm -hmm. But I am. Or I'd name them like a name that people think is gendered, but is actually really pretentious. Like Leo. But it'd be a girl's name. That's cute. <laughs> my name is uh, Ketchup. Uh, and I got that from a. Sorry, my boots keep squeaking. I was and, uh, <laughs> and I got my name from a lead screen. She gave it to me. Which lead queen? Uh, her name is Peaches Cream. Cute. Ketchup. Paint the town red. <sighs> How. There's no meal without ketchup. You can't have chips without ketchup. It isn't at dinner time unless you have it with ketchup. I don't like ketchup. How old are you? And how long have you been doing drag? I'm 20 and I've been doing drag since I was 16. I'm 19 and I've been doing it for a year now. This bitch! I know, I've been doing it for a year. It took me Look four me. just to get on it. Mm. Uh, you can also go and follow my Instagram. Uh, that's Kane with C A I N W I T H E Y. Yeah, and it can pop up on the screen. Here, or here, or here. Follow, follow me on my Instagram. If you click on this box here, you're gonna leave this in there and not even put a box there. Ava's link is here. And links are down below. Yeah, in the crotch area. Oh, oh my crotch area. Who are your biggest drag influencers? <laughs> <laughs> I just got upset. <laughs> Genuine question. Oh god. Who are they, John? You know what? <laughs> I'm going to try and not name any drag queens. <laughs> you not? No. <laughs> uh, fuck. Me? Oh, you're so cheesy. <laughs> uh, I'm not really inspired by anyone. Oh god, that's just as bad. <laughs> I don't know about specific people, but my influence is stylistically arranged from just really pretty people. Supermodels. Violet Chachki. Your drag influence is a Violet Chachki. What inspired you? Violet Chachki. How would you describe your style? Violet Chachki. But cheap. With a little bit of pearl, just turn it through in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. If I'm wearing black hair, it's violet. If I'm wearing blonde, it's pearl. Exactly. I would say Raja. For me. Oh yeah, who, like are we talking drag race girls or just famous drag queens? Yeah, just drag race girls. Because um, like, there's like artistic influences, like yeah. Real Ron Rich influences me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm influenced by like horror games. Horror games? And like yeah. RPGs. Everyone tells me I look like a Final Fantasy character and that's my favourite thing. I'm just like inspired by like pop culture. I keep looking at myself. I'm only looking at myself. Why are you not looking at the camera? Well, I'm bad at eye contact. I'm inspired by my lack of pop culture knowledge. Yeah, I like I'm fucking producer. ignorant. Do you work? Do you work? I work with a Q. Don't work in drag. We've done a, a couple of shows together. You've done one by yourself, haven't you? Was it two? Uh huh. Don't but basically, I don't work. No, we don't work. We don't have jobs, we don't get booked. But I don't know if it's on the town we live in or what. Yeah, there's not a gay bar in our town. <gasps> I forgot to draw on my ball joint. Someone has to draw on my elbow or something. Will that look cool? Will that look convincing if, say, if I. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't like it. Okay, I might not do it. Why did you start doing drag? Get off your phone. Get off your phone. 
The unprofessionalism. <laughs> the in level of unprofessionalism. If I blur my eyes, I look so pretty. Your lashes come off. Yeah, why'd you start doing drag? Attention. Yeah, same. I saw this one doing drag and I was like, oh, I kind of wanted to do drag and before I came to uni and I was like, and then I saw you come out and drag and I was like, yes. Gotta do that, that looks fun. That looks really fun. So I did it. I like, obviously watched like, RuPaul's Drag Race beforehand as well. And that got me influenced, uh, I think season four or five? Yeah, because you realise drag queens are real people and you're like, wait a minute, I'm a real person. I, I could, could do that. I could do that, that looks fun. Yeah. And then you do it, it's not fun and you can't do it. But then you give it time, you can do it and it's fun. Yeah. Well, it took me less time to get good at it than you did. Well, that's our focus there. What's the hardest part about doing drag? Yeah, that's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe the money, finding all the shit, the process of drag and... It hurts. It, it hurts quite a bit. It, everything just hurts. Yeah, having the drag to do it, especially when it's things like heels and stuff, it's like, yeah, I can look pretty, but can I be bothered looking pretty? And being in pain, and wearing these shoes, and then going out, and being social and friendly on top of all of that. You're not social and friendly. Oh. What do you like most about doing drag? I really like it because I don't feel like myself, and I can be more confident. Mm, that disassociation. Yeah. From like my own character because I'm not I'm not playing my actual person. I'm playing catch up. Yeah, and yeah, at the same time, it feels more authentic. It's like I'm not being myself, and yes, I'm expressing myself more authentically than ever. So, and it's fun, and I get attention, and I'm good at it, and I like doing things I'm good at, and then people tell me I'm good at those things, and it's just it's happy. How would you describe your style, Violet Chashi? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap British rip-off of Violet Chotsky meets every other trendy baby queen thing at the moment. Pinnel, burlesque, vintage, pretty, big eyes, red lips, ombre eyebrows. Literally. I'd say slutty. I used to be slutty. I feel like I look like a slut. I feel like I look like a, a wag whose boyfriend is uh, out playing football and I'm sleeping with all his best mates in his clothes. And that's just your daily life. You rude bitch. What's your favourite drag queen movie? Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I um, <laughs> I've seen the film and I've seen the stage production. The stage production was so much better. But I love the film as well. The Hugo Weaving. I'm so ignorant. I don't think I've ever seen a drag queen movie. Next. I saw, I saw RuPaul's Star Booty and that was a movie. I'm taking Snapchat. Do you have a drag family? No. No. That's like, an American thing. We like, kind of thought about doing like a an, an collaborative... Act. Group. Oh, but thing. I'll wait till I'm an established but, yeah. performer before calling myself anything other than me. What do you hope to achieve in your drag? World peace. Yeah, fame and richness. And to one day learn to be able to look into a camera. What is the thing that other queens do that you hate? Oh shit, there's so many and I can't even think of any right now. <laughs> You're such a hater queen. Right, older queens shitting on younger queens automatically, like I understand it, but then I also hate over entitled young queens who think they're amazing when they're like not. Like, it's cool, I think you are, but when they're like not and they're like bitchy because of it, that's a bit annoying. I don't like it when drag queens for some reason only wear thigh high stockings up to their knees and then wear garter belts around their middle section. It doesn't really bother me that much. Problematic things, like when they'll always name themselves, like after edgy, like shitty edgy names. Like Hitler. Kind of. Like sometimes if it's funny it's cool, but when people are offensive for no real reason, when they're like racist and they don't know it, voguing makes me cringe. Why does voguing make you cringe? I don't know, everyone who does it just thinks they're amazing and they just look really awkward. I think it's cool if I could do it, but like you see these like gay boys in like a club and they're just like they're voguing thinking they're like the most amazing thing, thinking they're in fucking um, Paris is burning and it's just like, yeah. Shit. I've never liked voguing, oh, I'm sure it's cool, but... People that this on the fact that drag is like drag race. Yeah, like, just have fun, it's fun. That was like seven days. How many wigs do you have? I'm literally wearing like three now. This, that, another blonde one, black one, ginger one, long silver one, another one with roots, another one that was blonde but I've cut that off. Then I have about five other like boy wigs. I have lots of old wigs I don't wear anymore, like three or four. They're like hard ones, I only ever wear lace wigs now, to be honest. I have the ugly purple one. Um, I've got six. No, I got my dungeon now as well. Which is seven. She got a piece. She got a piece. 
She got her world piece that she's been wanting. Yeah. Post a picture of your favourite look you did. Oh! I actually, this is probably my favourite look that I've done. Yeah, probably like, not same, because probably same. But I don't want to be like, same. Uh, well, I, I think you've got other looks that are better, but I think this look... This is, is like... ...appropriate for the look that you're going for, and it looks really good. Yeah, this is a good look, but I can't think of what's better that I've I, done. I really like your, um... You know, the high fashion one, where you had the pink dress on. The one that looks similar to this, that isn't. Really? Is that better than this? Yeah, and you're like... Why is that better than this? I don't know, I think your makeup looks better and just... Really? I thought this was the same makeup, this is just a bit more blue in it. Oh. Maybe, no, no, that was using my real eyebrows. And stuff. Yeah, I think it just looked a little bit more natural and a little bit more... Yeah. yeah. But then again, I do like your gem one. I, I, I do kind of, I like the gem look I did. Um, this one is mine, and this one on the screen is yours. Yeah. There's probably going to be a couple on the screen. Oh wow, you look so good. Wow. In look those that one. generic coloured boot and that generic coloured coloured outfit. Wow, that hair colour looks so good on you. Oh, well, that's the last question. Okay. Bye. Oh. Bye. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Or oh, a little thumbs up. Just give me a thumb. Just stick a thumb in me. Thumb me. I think I should actually get home because I think that I can get some dick on the way home. Yeah, cool. Cool, set, bye.